There it is. In the low, page 123. Uh, have you ever gotten into far? Anytime somebody A few minutes on where we left off. 123. Okay, now. <clears throat> um, the world is not coming to an end. Yes, go ahead. Um, the, um, but I'd be happy to uh, host uh, a coffee at my house tomorrow morning, Saturday Good. morning. Oh, you're welcome to come. Yes. Okay, um, Dave, what can I ask you? It appears Pierre will be here on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So does that mean that, it, that we would have harmonies at your house on Sunday? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's what it means. I just, I'm assuming that. Pierre? Yeah, so you're good. up for harmonies on Sunday? Yeah, why not? Fantastic. I just want to be clear before we announce it to don't, everybody. Don't. Who's here. So nobody heard that. There is Parmenides on uh, Sunday. Uh, we, we had a discussion a while ago. And we'll update you as you in the usual form. It's not on TV Sunday morning. It's not on TV Sunday morning. No. <coughs> power of power. So no. there's, there's also books here in these boxes if anybody wants to buy them. This is a fundraiser for oh. Jeff. How much are uh, for the, well, they're well, my books, but it's for the Noetic Society. Give your monies to Julius. <coughs> How much? Yeah, just give the money, uh, whatever you think is worth. And remember, donations are gratefully accepted by Julie as well. I'll just put that. Thank you. Whatever you feel is appropriate. Right. But not zero. Here's the money. <laughs> I really don't need dangerous rolling. That's a fun book. That's a, that's I used that for the kid. It's a mile of trails. I gave it away, sorry. I was like, oh, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's such, such a better name. What? Elderon. Elderon. Mm -hmm. I think my mom would appreciate changing my name. <gasps> but isn't that the real name, mm -hmm. though? Or? Elder. Oh. This comes out of here, see? And I want to do something with this. I went, I want everybody to wonder about this in one minute. Okay? Want to see what happens? All right, watch now.
Can you move out of the way, Pierre? <laughs> So you can take a picture of the board. Okay, look. Here is the description that follows. <clears throat> this being so, we must agree. Okay? <clears throat> and that's this quote. How does this relate with this? Let me first ask you about something, okay? I need some help. Uh, <clears throat> sir, sir uh, do you have a cell? What? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Is it the same as uh, Elder's? Uh, well, what is it just by itself? Go ahead. It's pure. Now that we know it appears to be in some way maybe equal to another's, uh, how, how do you reason about that? Oh, that's that crazy book that Regina's dream dealt with. Oh, so look. What shall we do with it? Are we satisfied with what's here? I know how to test it. Does it make any sense to you? Yeah. Yeah, super, super sense. Sir, it makes super sense. <laughs> it's beyond the senses. How would you change it? So it makes super sense. Go ahead. Come on. That's the object of contemplation. We need some help. Indestructible. <laughs> Would you encourage him to go out? Yes. Wait, what question am I answering? You're asking how it relates to that over there? It's the same thing. Well, he wants to see but that. what is the same thing? You're describing the same thing. It's the same quote, after all. Is that the self? Huh? Hmm? The self. Sure. Most brilliant light of being. Wait a minute. Do you have a self that's ungenerated, indestructible? It neither receives anything into itself or from any quarter, nor does it pass into another. It's invisible. That's what you're supposed to contemplate? Let me see if you're right. Miss? Yeah. <laughs> okay, would you write that down? That's as simple as I wanted to do. Through reason. Through reason. Hmm? <clears throat> Contemplate it through reason. Through reason. Oh, through reason. Mm -hmm. oh, no, that's not reason. It's uh, an oasis. Yeah, see. What's that? Wh see, what does this add? What does that add? Active music. It's intellection. The goodness of reason. What does that add? What does the providence add? Um, well, 
that what's going to be done is going to be good. There's a goodness that's going to be done, provided, which it is the goodness of reason. That's how I see it. Well, the pure translated problem is problem. Okay, look here. I know. There are two ideas of the self in this section. Would you agree? This is the first. Yes. Would you agree there's a second? Yes. And a second kind is that which is named after the former and similar. But it's an object perceptible by sense, generated, ever carrying about. Look at this. Becoming in a place and out of it again, perishing. Right? And out of it, the opposite of each of those above, perishing, etc. Watch now. And again, right here we go. And a third kind, in an, look at this, in an ever existing place. Right? Take a look. in an ever-existing place. Um, hey, this is the one that's a kind of a bastard reasoning. And this is a, also, it's a, a dreamy kind of state. <coughs> it's a kind of a bastard kind of reasoning. And what's worse, it has not for its own even a substance from which it came into being, but fleets around. Hey, who's talking about the self? Watch on. Would you agree what he's doing is saying 
because of these three modes of the self, those three create this dreamy kind of state for us. Gotta, we have to take a look at this rather curious of all curious passages in the Chinese. You, you have a soul? Yes. Oh, is that number one? Yes, yeah, I think so, yes. Oh, uh, also have number two and three and the mixture of these causes that a havoc. Two key words, right? Two uses of the idea of place. So because of all of these, because of all of these, you know what? We're unable also on waking to distinguish clearly the unsleeping and truly subsisting substance owing to, hey, this is what causes us to be in a dreamy state. generated indestructible state causes a dreamy state? That doesn't make sense. The point was all together though, right? You, that's why you, that's you, what I'm saying. The but unity you, symbols around one, two, and three. But so not just one. But he's including one. Yes. Why? Say, yeah, look at the third. It provides room for all things that have birth. Right? It provides room for them. But what kind of stuff is it? All those things that have birth, that come into being. So, uh, isn't this weird, Jeff? Thank you. If Jeff says it, we're on the right track. What does he say? 
And it's weird. You didn't complete your question, though. Isn't this where? Weird. Well, weird, weird. Like, yeah. Oh. Uh, weird. Yeah. <laughs> but in the best sense. Shane, by the way, offhand, uh, sure, do you have a show? Yes. Oh, good. good. Uh, what does it encounter? Everything. All living things? Yes. Perishable things? Watch now. Does the self provide a place for all living things? Hmm. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. That's absurd. Agree? Yes. Good. Is that right? No. no. Uh oh. Say, so, uh, sir, do you have a show? Sure, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, do you experience all living things? Do you experience living things that come to birth? Yes, but not all. Well, okay, but whatever yes. you look, yes. what do you experience? Where do you experience it? Hmm. What? In where? Well, this thing that we're calling the self. In the self? Yeah. Well, then you provide a place for all things that you experience. Where? The self. In yourself. Self That's very is, nice of you or, to do or, that. Or what about the self is providing? <laughs> Here. I just want to say that the text, the text, I don't see it supported that the self in the text Good. provides a place for all things that come to birth. I agree with you. We're all off the track again. But I'd like to see it. <laughs> All depends upon whether or not you look on the left-hand part of the page. Yeah. And what did you find? Well, he's talking about three kinds, and one kind he uses the self kind of language. He does talk about the self, does he not? In the first kind. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the third kind, which is place, every existing place, that's the one that provides. Well, what is it that provides the place? But I was going to say, the second kind, it appears as being called a copy here, or an image. Yeah, that's a copy, image. Number two is an image of number one. But if place, ever existing place, mm -hmm. is provided by one or two, or a combination of the both of them, I don't see that it's established. But uh, the second, the key part, is it becomes in a place. And so out of it, equally, all kinds of things emerge. And this is the realm of opinion. Sense. It's curious that for every existing place he uses Chora, and for becoming in a place he uses Topos. Right? Like Chora is like land or country. And I guess in the Tainas, someone likes to translate it as place. 
that he's using two different words that are being translated the same. Um, I don't know. I, I know Topos is used with the idea of the intelligible region in um, the Republic. But I mean, like, if you wanted to make a case that place are the same, you got to be careful about the fact that there's two different words in Greek being used and translated with the same word. Right. <clears throat> May not be the same place. <laughs> <laughs> is it consistent? Like, is he using a more intelligible word for the ever existing place? You want to put it into a hierarchy? Like a this, and this is something that, <clears throat> it's one thing though, it emerges as to, go ahead. No. Well, just, this translation is different to one. Oh, you have a different translation? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Okay. It says third, space, mm -hmm. which is eternal and indestructible, which provides a position for everything that comes to be and which is apprehended without senses by a sort of spurious reasoning and is hard to believe in. So, talking about space yeah. providing. Hmm. Where is it? Well, it's hard to believe in. <coughs> it's apprehended without the senses. Yeah, where is it? We look at it indeed in a kind of dream and say that everywhere that exists must be somewhere and occupy some space. So, uh, Ms. Uh, uh, would you agree that uh, Uh, when you when you look out, you see these things. Mm -hmm. Where, by chance, do you experience it? No. Haven't you been taught that everything you experience, where do you experience it? Thank you. So, I, I experience it in no that everything you experience is in yourself. Well, then you created a place for everything to be. Yes. Thank you. That was very nice of you. But it's not in, this, not in the place. Is that right? Is she right? It's not enough space. <laughs> not enough space. I think so. But I'm not convinced. Well, I mean, I'm curious. Want to help him? No. Well, I know a certain kind of yoga, they call it spatial dynamics. <laughs> They're really in the space. I just got one question for you. <laughs> Would you agree he's making three points about what? <clears throat> That's all. About what? Doesn't it have to be about Lucia? Lucia, Lucia, and Lucia? I mean, doesn't it? And where is that? It hovers right underneath the one. <laughs> <laughs> I think, but you didn't ask me textually. That's harder. As you look at the text, 
What are these three? They are. And how does he, con this is worse now, how does he conclude about these? Hmm. Oh, conclude? Conclude. <laughs> he says they all exist before heaven came into existence. Organizing principles? Hmm. Okay, look here. We're going to sneak in. Look here. Would you risk an opinion? This stuff, all of this stuff, can take on a term. Yeah. Yes. Not right? Next, there are two ideas of place, yes or no? Yes. Yes. <coughs> well, they are same use of the term. Look here. Uh, this is our all things that come to birth. Right, look here. If it's all things that come to birth, can I not call that? the nurse of becoming. Right? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. It receives all the forms of earth, air, submitting to all other affections. It exhibits a variety of appearance. Right. Variety of appearance is the nurse of becoming. Now look here. <laughs> she receives all the forms 
and submits to all the affections And hey, uh, say, whatever you see, how long does this hold on to the particular shape? Long time. Only as long as it exists, right? Mm -hmm. Well, what causes it to lose its forms, its shape? Now. We're approaching an idea I want to introduce very carefully because, you know, sometimes people throw objects at you. Hey, fourth kind. So these objects <clears throat> fly continuously in various directions and are dissipated just as the particles are shaken and winnowed by the sieves and other instruments from the cleansing of corn, right? They're shaken by whatever is the recipient. Whatever is the recipient shakes it all up and causes change. Hey, this is a property of the universe. These four ideas are the property of the universe before it ever came into being. Therefore, they're primordial. And I don't think we're seeing it. And that's why uh, Julie Hoygaard, do you remember her? Yeah. She always sits here on my first row. We can call upon her to solve it. Wait a minute, is that fair? Yes. Can we vote on it? Okay. Well, you want to answer? <laughs> you know, play, 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 free. Well, These four things yeah. exist before, before heaven and earth. They're primary principles. Like earth, air, fire, water. Is he saying that the self is primordial and before creation? Looks like it. Huh. Yeah, I'll help out. What's the fourth? What, what is the fourth? Pardon? What's the fourth? What's number four? I don't know. It just says it right here. It shakes things up. It's page 125. I know. Down to 53. Right on 53. Take a look. Those are the four kinds. Well, what are the other three? Did he, did he enumerate three in the beginning of that paragraph? Being, place, and becoming. Uh, are those discussed in the preceding paragraph that we identified here from 52 on? Yep. Right, but I just, I don't, I don't see him Declaring that the four kinds are a fourth kind, but rather place receives the four kinds. 
That's okay. <clears throat> what are the other three? Well, if we take being, place, no, that's not and an earth should be coming. No, I'm reading it as the elements of the form. The oh. so-called elements. But, but I don't mind that. Which of the elements is he talking about then? I'm saying my claim is he's talking about all four. Okay, all right. De develop it. Come on. We need, come on. We need. I, don't, I, don't, I mean, I'm just reading the text. I don't know what to develop. Right? Well, what's it's, a, it's a question of how to read the text. No, you have to tell us what it refers to and how it be determined. I mean, more than I've already said. Yeah. How do you determine? I would say reading. Well, he said the, the top of that paragraph. And the top of that paragraph seems to name the three that we're talking about. How do you agree that the top and, of the paragraph right. of those three? And there is the fourth. Yeah, They're sure. all called getting, right? So there's no reason, except that, right, you don't see what fourth is. I get that. You're not going to persuade me with emotion. I mean, I'm you, not you, trying you've got a different reading of the text. I want to hear it. Well, until it, it's, <laughs> instead yeah, of hold telling it. us, I mean, uh, yeah. Egmar, instead of telling us that it's in the text, why don't you point to the sentence that you think it refers to? See, it can't, no, it can't be the elements. He thinks they yeah, refer to the elements. No, hold it. No, right here, you're saying that it refers to four kinds. So it was also with the four kinds when shaken by the recipient. What are you referring to when you say that it isn't being placed and becoming, and this is the fourth kind? In particular, you're saying, you're saying, I have an answer for you. Excuse me. Can I finish my question? Oh, Thank you. No. You said that. Okay, look. So just show me where you're reading four kinds. Okay, in particular, there's something called the nurse of becoming. It's described as being liquefied, water, dignified, fire, and receiving also the forms of earth and air. Earth, air, four. No. And you're saying that that goes down to four kinds down. That's there. right. So this whole paragraph then should outline that, or is it just stating? I understand that's four. I well, I'm that's saying itself. this paragraph is bringing together the discussion from before mm -hmm. with the discussion of the four kinds and how the four kinds are to relate to one of the kinds. Which okay. kind is that? So we've got seven kinds. You're, you're very seven. Oh really? Yeah. We've got the three that we've been looking at. And the four elements. <coughs> okay, look here, let me help. Uh, sir, did you point out that the four kinds could be the elements? Yes. No, because as you read further, it's before the four elements come into existence. Therefore, it can't be the elements. Yeah, it's, it's in the same paragraph. So, okay, I'll read it. So it was also with the four kinds when shaken by the recipient. Her motion, like an instrument which causes shaking, was separating farthest from one another the dissimilar and pushing most closely together the similar. Wherefore also these kinds occupy, I take this to be the four, occupy different places even before that the universe was organized and See, if you were to read further about the four elements, right? That's at uh, B, B to C. Would you agree? But when the work of setting and order the universe was being undertaken, fire, water, earth, air, although possessing some traces of their own nature, were yet so disposed as everything is likely to be in the absence of God. So God then marked them out in their shapes by means of forms and numbers, so God then constructed them so far as he could to be fair, good as possible. So it was prior to the four elements. 
prior to them having some kind of structure in the universe? Yeah. Is that what you mean? Okay. To hold on fast to your position, does the idea of the fourth kind assume he's talking about the elements? Is that your position? My position is he's not even talking about the fourth kind. I mean, even in the English, it says the four kinds. Okay. So, you know, I wanted you to make a statement about what, how you consider the fourth kind. That's all. I don't. Okay. Okay. I mean, if, it's in the, if there's some reason to consider a fourth kind in the text, right? This is what the big lesson that I got from you here is how to read a text. Right? I'm with it. How to not bring your own assumptions and put it in the text, hey. but deal with what the text is saying. Okay. I don't see any fourth kind. I don't see any third kind. Yeah. I do see a third kind. Is it, but is, so far, would you agree the idea of self is there? Start from the beginning. Is the idea of self there? Well, even there, it's plural, but sure, okay. Yeah. Yes. So if you follow the logic about the self, then we want to know, as I asked before, what are these four things? Are they related to the self? And then we can say in what way? If not, we'll have to change our design and go somewhere else. That's all. Good, good thing. Is that for me? He's going to continue that discussion. Okay.
again, in the, even in the English, you guys can get on board as well. The word kinds is used there, capital K. Okay, read the quote. Now, however, is the end of the paragraph, first paragraph of page 127. Now, however, it is the disposition and origin of each of these kinds, which I must endeavor to explain to you, in an exposition of an unusual type. See, he's presaging a whole. I, I still haven't found your quote. I don't know why. You're on 127 in the lobe, and you're saying it's the first paragraph? 53. It's the end of the first paragraph. Oh, okay, got it. Okay. <coughs> okay. But okay. anyway. <coughs> What would you conclude? So far, he's, he's advancing a passage where the four elements are described. Assuming that it deals with... He's, he's assuming that the four, the four kinds where you're directing us are the four elements, and he's pointing me to a passage where they're called kinds, because I didn't believe before they were called kinds, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure this will completely make the point, even if, because it's... Uh, no, no, because... The four elements is one thing. Those that which is wrought from them and is perhaps what's at issue. And 50D, just before 50D, they talked introduced the four elements and how they are the conceiving of three kinds. And just before that, it says we know that. Oh, go ahead. And that's the element there. The three kinds. Yes. Okay. Sure. So it changes though. Yeah. What? What changes? Like okay. a different word is used. When he's when he is talking about the nurse of becoming, does he include the ideas of the elements? Yes or no? Because it receives it receives also the forms of air, earth, what? And as a result, it exhibits all the variety of appearance. If that's the case, can he then, when you're talking about four kinds, be talking about the elements? Mm. Two arguments against him. Mm. He talks about the elements in the third. Why is he making the fourth the elements? Second argument. But these elements don't, at this point, have any form. They have a, a, a potential for becoming those things, but God hasn't yet made them into the form in which they have them. Those two arguments suggest, therefore, that the four kinds cannot be the elements. Before God fashioned them, can they be elements there? Or the four elements there? do not have a substance that is independent and separate for each. Right? Next point, watch. For him, the four elements move one into the other. And he says the proper name for the four elements, therefore, is suchness. Because whatever you're calling an element tomorrow, it will change. Mm -hmm. He says the underlining substance of the four elements is something like gold. That's its substance. Therefore, the elements are not elemental. But their underlying substance is. They have the same substance. Indistinguishable. But he calls gold like. So they're not elements. You're saying the elements aren't elements. That's right. They're what we formally call elements in chemistry are things that should retain their shape and form. They are elemental, they thought, when they first developed them. These are not elements in the modern sense of elemental, fundamental, unchangeable things. Since for him, they pass through each one of the others. 
So, uh, so, so is there a real fire here? Is there a real fire? Is there a form of fire? Uh, is there a form for fire? No. There's a form for light. <laughs> well, it, it's still a reading question. I mean, that's what he says. This is how the elements move in the shift one into the other. He talks about that. Yeah. He says hey, how the elements merge and shift one into the other. He talks about that. He says hey, they don't have any permanent quality. One flows into the other. One flows into the other. He says so. What are they? Is that ah, all you can do is call them such like? And then he says, hey, on the level of substance, there's just a gold-like substance beneath it all. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, but I'm still, I'm still, I'm still puzzled about how to understand what ideas completely. I'm still puzzled about how ideas... How to understand the ideas completely. Like, what are we saying about, do we, are we disavowing? That's a big word this week, right? Trump says it's disavowing. Are we disavowing that uh, that the elements, that what we're calling the elements, can be kinds because they just have this such like nature? Like kinds, kinds, gene, has such a primordial position that this stuff that changes into one another and can just be described as such. They can't be primordial be if they change. <coughs> Can they? Or you're using the word primordial in a curious way. <coughs> well, okay. Let's assume that the, the four are not number four. They're not the fourth kind. Then what is? What is the fourth kind? What about a 51? <laughs> if anybody about, else has the position what that about they agree is a fourth kind. What about a 51A7? Kind is capitalized. What is the word for that? What are we talking about? 51A7. Yeah, that's the, uh, that's Eidos. That's hey, if you were interested in that section, it's at 50, okay? Uh, 50B. It came before where we are, if you wanted to look at it. And the substance which receives all these bodies, as it were, an account must be given. Always the same name. It never departs from its own proper quality. Right? Doesn't assume any shape. Right? What does he call it? Figures, all of them are figures like gold, the substance of them. Right? So, So then, we are left with this curious passage. Which one? Uh, are, the, are the figures kinds? Are, hmm? tri are triangles kinds? Pardon? Triangles. What about them? Are they kinds? If you want to work through his geometry of triangles and how they relate to the elements, you will find that in principle, his examples don't fit. If you want to go through it. Well, okay, that, that's, a, that's another point, by the way. But in the geometry, 
of triangles, the way he talks about them, those triangles do not move the way in which he suggests if you have some knowledge of geometry. But that's, yeah, I'd like to see that. yeah I'll, I'll let that go, okay. Look, I think we're stuck. <laughs> All right. We need help. Good place to be stuck. Means looks like we may have to do some homework. Yep. I'm interested. Okay. That's good enough. Good. Well, I'm interested in seeing uh, how the three kinds are described because it seems like the three kinds are described self line, self. And I want to see if I can pin down quotes for that. That's a good homework exercise for me. Well, I was, I was trying to see if that idea, that whole section on so, the nurse of becoming, uh, has references to outtakes over and over and over again. Over. And did we just and took that out and said, very self reluctantly is being to the same conclusion. Which is what? Uh, that the Received the in that sense. examples also, of understanding the elements in terms of geometrical figures doesn't work. I think that's 52 DC. I mean, DE. We need help next week. All right. How's your world? So, oh. where's the a bunch of stuff? Where's the, the nurse around? Oh, yeah. Uh, Nietzsche. <laughs> Oh, good at luck. 50, at 52C. I want to talk to you. 52, 52 D. So. 52D. Yeah, and then you're saying there's a lot of There are at least uh, one, two. I see outtakes. Outtakes, outtakes. Uh, out, uh, out tone. Tau taste twice, and then tau ta, tau uh, uh, ta. Yeah, I'd like to see the rule with the one. Yeah. I mean, if it's a if it's a nurse of becoming, that's 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 different than becoming. Yeah.